Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part 7 of our series testing super unleaded petrol for its octane rating. This is actually a revisit as I'm back here at the Esso Garage in Whitney. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this, I've been meaning to do a retest uh, for octane here. Uh, in contrast to the last video which was filmed I think before Christmas, uh, sometime in winter anyway because it's very cold. Uh, it's a lovely hot summer's day so it's been a yeah, long time coming. I've also taken a second sample uh, just in case there was issues with this uh, the fuel supply of this garage uh, from an SO in Chiseldon, which is a village just off the uh, junction 15 on the M4 on the route to Marlborough on the A346, uh, it's, uh, sort of near Swindon Way where I work sometimes. I've just picked up the sample of uh, Synergy Supreme uh, from this place today, and uh, with, along with that other sample, let's get them back to the garage and see what uh, octane rating they are. And we're back. Just to mention that part 7 of the Octane testing series was supposed to be a video which I already uh, filmed a lot of footage for and was starting to compile for the uh, basically recalibration and uh, testing the Optus 2 uh, fuel tester here, uh, Octane tester here to see what differences certain uh, methodology and uh, factors were uh, making to the results because I just obviously want to make sure that the uh, readings we're getting, although it might not be uh, pinpoint accurate to the you know nearest one to maybe even four octane numbers in RON. We just want to get the results as consistent as possible so that means obviously trying to find uh, the, the better way to test it. Uh, I did make slight mention of this in the uh, previous octane test video for the Sainsbury's fuel uh, whereby I'm going to be using this jar that you see in the middle here because it's better what represents what the uh, standing tests are for this octane tester in the instructions where I was previously testing uh, fuels in those measuring cylinders that I use sometimes, as well as even directly into these fuel cans. Uh, I wasn't sure if that was actually uh, affecting the results in any uh, particular way, so if it is just better practice to make sure that the container that I'm testing in is consistent with all of the uh, future Octane tests, and this is part of the reason why we're obviously doing a uh, SO uh, Synergy revisit, uh, because the first time I used the Octane tester on that we had quite a low reading uh, and this was also at a time where I, I couldn't quite figure out how to change the Octane tester from AKI uh, reading which is anti-knock index which is the type of Octane number you see displayed on American uh, fuel pumps uh, to RON which is a regional Octane number I think um, which is what's used in um, England and most of Europe I believe uh, but now that I uh, can, I, I won't have to convert the AKI over to uh, RON for each of the fuels, so we can get a direct reading. And of course, because the tester is Russian, its default uh, measurement should be RON, so it might be doing a, a poor conversion into AKI. So I won't be uploading that uh, video. I didn't, in fact, uh, finish compiling it because uh, there was just so much going on. I was using so many different uh, containers uh, just to. Uh, get the Octane tester to show different results with the same petrol. The main method that was happening was if I was using the different height measuring cylinders and then moving the tester up and down the petrol level to take each reading. So it's probably going to be too confusing and uh, not really interesting enough to uh, have as a standalone video. So that's what's been going on there and that is why I'm going to be using this jar just holding 700 millilitres of the test petrol in. Uh, yeah, let's take a look. The first sample here, because I did get two that I mentioned earlier, is uh, one from Whitney, which is the sample we'll be testing first. The second sample is from a garage in a village in Wiltshire. We've also got the uh, fuel sample that I took last year uh, for SO uh, Synergy, so we can make sure that the Octane test is still reading the right level there. is odd. So this is actually in RON currently and it is reading 93 RON which is even lower than the results we were getting uh, last year. So 
So I think what we'll do now is obviously test the sample that I got from the uh, the Wiltshire uh, SO garage. I'll also uh, I've got an old I've got a sample of Shell V power here, which we've actually tested before. That that was I think what was it 101, 102 uh, octane. So obviously if the reader is reading all the other fuels consistently and it's just low on the SO fuels, we'll know that there's actually something up with. Uh, the SO's uh, Octane. Right, so the second uh, sample here is the SO Supreme from Ch the Chiseldon garage that I mentioned. It's just off the M4, so I'm not sure if uh, the delivery network I mean, is still quite close to the town that this is bought from. These are about an hour, uh, no less than that actually. It's uh, yeah, probably about 35 40 minutes away from each other. So whether the tanker that delivers the fuel uh, to this uh, garage is the same one that does this one but yeah let's find out because if this is showing a 99 octane and above they're obviously yeah different completely different samples from uh, different deliveries uh, however if this is showing around the uh, 93 ron uh, mark then we'll know that there is probably something a little questionable with uh, SO, but this is assuming that the other tests that I do uh, in a minute don't read over 100. Last time I used the tester it was working absolutely fine and giving good readings, so it does actually seem like there is something uh, amiss with uh, SO when it comes to their advertised claim of 99 octane. Yeah, we've got 93. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure these uh, fuels are coming from the same source, despite the fact the garages are different. Um, but yeah, that is a little concerning how the SO Synergy 99 is not reading anywhere near 99. So this third test sample, because I'm actually in a slight bit of denialism, because I'm questioning the uh, accuracy of this, but I've been doing plenty of tests with this and it's been given consistent results and showing uh, the fuels to be at least or um, slightly exceeding their uh, advertised octane ratings. Uh, I find it hard to believe that a, 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 basically one of the big three, that SO uh, UK are selling fuel that is considerably under the uh, advertised octane rating. So what I'm going to do for this next test is just test the freshly bought sample of Shell V Power. I regularly uh, test this one to make sure it is over the uh, 99 octane and it always is. Uh, previously we've been seeing some slightly higher results because as I mentioned the uh, methodology that I've been using hasn't been uniform. Uh, but it is now that I'm using the same uh, sample container. So let's just see, I, I just want to make sure that this tester, that I'm doing everything right. The last result I got from the last time I tested Shell V Power was 101 uh, RON, uh, and it's advertised at 99, so it exceeds uh, that. Now look at that, spot on, that's what... Yeah, this is a new sample and it's been showing 101 consistently. Uh, uh, when I was uh, doing the video for this testing method uh, to test the various ones and the previous samples I've took of uh, Shell V Power, the old uh, sample that I've got here, it's actually a year and a half old now, that is still showing 101 RON, uh, as is this fresh sample. So this tester is picking up the correct octane rating, but it is just to give us an idea that it's exceeding the advertised octane because certain cars uh, either run maps where you 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 need at least 97 octane some maps and that could be 98 99 octane so that's where you're now limited with what fuels you can buy because you have Shell V power uh, which is 99 uh, you have a Tesco momentum which is 99 both of these I've tested and both of them exceed it and then of course uh, SO Synergy Supreme 99 is reading uh, the first time we tested it was 97 uh, and these two samples from two different garages at uh, different times at, I don't know it's about a, a week week and a half uh, apart are, are showing 93 
uh, Ron, which is uh, yeah, obviously too low. So yeah, let's just take a look at the old sample of the SO Synergy, uh, just to see if there's any changes there. But it, it does look like there is actually an issue with the SO Synergy. Where I take that from here, I don't know. Is it worth perhaps contacting them or? What I might do first is just go further afield. I might try and find an SO garage that's a lot further from the counties I sort of live and work in and just to see if perhaps it's uh, it's something more to do with the delivery network. But it doesn't make sense that it doesn't have ethanol in because when, you, when they start using the same container to deliver a, a variety of petrols, then uh, you'd expect obviously the... Uh, there to be a tra uh, uh, some amount of ethanol even in the super unleaded's, but we've just tested these fuels to be uh, all of the fuel samples here are ethanol free. This tester cannot uh, can only test pure petrol if it's got ethanol in it, which is actually a a, a blended petrol. It's uh, ethanol doesn't really it isn't actually part of petrol. It's added to it. It even used to be called gasohol in America uh, years ago because it is it is a different it is actually a different product. Uh, this tester won't read it if there's eth uh, ethanol in there because it will just uh, show a, an, an inaccurate high reading. Even though ethanol itself does actually have, it is high octane because uh, a lot of people run e E85 on cars that are running a lot of boost uh, because it keeps uh, the, the octane ratings high so you don't get any pre-detonation. You can have your timing as, uh, you can have high compression, advanced timing and uh, ho uh, the ethanol actually acts as a, a, a coolant uh, for the uh, cylinders, so you can even run wh where you'd be uh, overheating and that using normal fuel. So it does have its uses, uh, but the uh, this reader itself isn't designed to read the uh, octane of ethanol. So basically, yeah, they all have to be ethanol free for this to give a give an accurate reading. Right for the last test, uh, we'll be going back to this. If you just see it in shot here. Uh, this is a very old sample of uh, SO Synergy Supreme. It is the one that I did the first Octane test on and it showed a lower than expected amount. I, I basically rounded it up to 97 RON because uh, the reader was only in AKI at the time because I, I just got it and hadn't quite figured out how it worked. So this would actually be a good test for the uh, tester as it were because if this shows sort of 96 to 97 RON, then it, it converts basically the AKI to RON, but certainly better than the inaccuracy of uh, SO's uh, fuel, it appears. Uh, so let's give it a shot. Oops. I'm excited. Look at that. So it turns out there was nothing wrong with uh, the tests I was doing or the uh, the methods I was using or the uh, tester itself. There does seem to be something wrong with uh, SO uh, Synergy fuel. So yeah, if um, yeah, basically if anybody's running a, a car that's mapped or if it's a, a classic, you've got the timing set for something that requires a, a 98.99 uh, octane fuel like a four and five star leaded fuel used to be. If you're having any running issues yet you run uh, SO Synergy or uh, perhaps you've gone to a rolling road and had a, a car with a uh, you had a result on the rolling road of a much lower horsepower uh, than you were expecting because you're running SO Synergy Supreme. Let me know and uh, perhaps maybe even consider uh, going back there and getting the car re and that on a uh, better quality fuel such as the uh, Shell V Power or Tesco Momentum that does actually meet the um, advertised octane. As mentioned, perhaps I should give the SO one more chance. Whenever the opportunity arises, I'll uh, try and get to a, a SO service station that would not be on the same route as the, uh, or, or maybe the base fuel's not actually from the same refinery as the uh, SO in this area. It is very disappointing actually because uh, I, I did used to be fond of SO because SO were the ones to mention that their higher octane as it turns out not to be. Super unleaded fuel uh, doesn't contain ethanol uh, as a feature so people with classic cars, two-stroke equipment or just simply don't want ethanol blended fuel in their cars have that option and they can use it however the 
by not having the ethanol in there, perhaps it's made them formulate the fuel uh, to contain ethanol, but because it isn't present, it isn't giving the octane boost, whereas all of the other brands, their additives package is increasing the octane to a, a, the expected levels. I suppose in a way I shouldn't be disappointed because this is the whole reason I'm doing these tests. It's to actually find out if there are any issues and uh, there does appear to be an issue with my local SO brand. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, yeah, keep an eye out for more of these tests in the future.